Android Pie's primary competitor, as we all know it, is Apple's iOS 12 software. And in the time that I've used iOS on the iPhone XS, I've come to find that there are a couple of features that stock Android just does much better than iOS. In this video, I'll be showing you five of the major ones I've come across. Just a few disclaimers, I'm not here to bash Apple or say that Android is better than iOS. I'm just showing you the advantages that stock Android provides just in case you're stuck in deciding between an iPhone or an Android. In the future, I'll drop a video showing off five features that iOS 12 does better than stock Android 9.0, so thumbs up if you're interested in that. Also, I'm basing my results off the Google Pixel 3 Excel since its software is pretty much the basis for stock Android and comparing it to the iPhone XS. Anyways, the number one, Android still manages notifications way better than iOS. Even though iOS 12 improved the notification management by introducing features like bundling and delivering notifications quietly, Android still has the upper hand. For one, you can snooze notifications to dismiss them for a certain amount of time and have them reassert itself after the timer is up. On top of that, you can manage incoming notifications from an app much better than iOS with notification channels. If I long press on a Gmail notification, tap on the eye icon and select notifications, I can then control different kinds of Gmail notifications. For example, I can disable incoming notifications from my school email or just dismiss emails that have attachments or even ignore notifications that let you know when you've logged into your account using a different device. In other words, I can still block every notification for an app, but if I just wanna block certain notifications and not have it completely muted, you can do so as well. When it comes to voice assistant, both platforms have their own competitors. Apple uses Siri, while Google and the majority of other Android OEMs use Google Assistant. Personally, I think Google Assistant is far ahead of Siri in every aspect. Google Assistant does a way better job at handling simple commands. It can handle more voice interactions to feel more like a conversation. Outputs its answer a slight second faster than Siri and has a more natural sounding tone. On top of that, if you own a Google Pixel, no matter the generation, there's a feature called Call Screen, which gives you the option to have Google Assistant answer any incoming call so you can quickly figure out what the caller wants and see if it's urgent. I personally use it to get rid of scammers though. So yeah, Google's AI is far ahead of the game, but that's not to say that Siri isn't useful either. Siri still does a great job at handling simple commands and can do certain things that Google Assistant can't. For example, with the addition of shortcuts, a new app introduced in iOS 12, it really astonished me that I could create my own voice commands to do a variety of tasks. Another advantage with Android Pie is better multitasking. If you wanna use two apps at the same time, no problem, you can use split screen, some Androids do a better job than others at implementing this native feature, such as Samsung's version. For example, they allow you to swap the windows quickly or allow you to have a floating window instead. For those who are on Android 8.0 or higher, you can also shrink a YouTube video or most video players into a floating window so you can do other things on the device. It's a neat feature called picture-in-picture -picture mode, something I missed using within iOS. I also love swiping the nav bar in Android Pie or double tapping the Recents button with a three button nav bar to quickly switch to my recently used app. However, I will admit iOS has a similar feature, which I also love where you can quickly switch to your previously used apps by swiping the gesture nav bar to the left or to the right. But that's the only multitasking feature that I found within iOS besides the Recents page. Android in general just has so many different solutions, especially if you get a Samsung. Now, I'm not one to bug about features that are mostly opinion-based, but I've never come to understand why Apple hasn't drastically changed or improved their launcher since the first iPhone got released. I get that having pages filled with apps is their signature move, but it just bugs me that you can't really customize anything on the home screen besides creating folders, adding multiple widgets to the leftmost screen, or rearranging apps. With an Android, you have the freedom of downloading a third-party launcher within the Play Store or from the web and creating a home screen that feels unique and personal. People even share their home screens on social media so others can replicate their awesome creation. For clarification, within the iOS launcher, you can't change the grid size, you can only have four apps in the dock, there is no icon pack support, you can't move screens around, you can't play shortcuts or widgets on any screen besides the leftmost screen, and the organization is awful. I can't categorize the apps automatically in a way that makes sense to me like alphabetical order. However, I'm not one to judge. There are people out there who appreciate Apple's launcher and probably don't want it to change, but I do feel like a few added options for customization wouldn't hurt anyone. Which brings me to my last point. Android 9.0 is way more customizable than iOS 12. Obviously, that's always been the case with Android. You can customize your launcher to the extreme with tons of bells and whistles. Most Android phones give you the option to use a dark theme, and a few others like Samsung allow you to theme the overall UI with thousands of presets to choose from. In the Play Store, you can install apps to modify the nav bar, install more quick setting tiles, or use an overlay that is amazing and unique like bottom quick settings, which allows you to have the quick settings panel down at the bottom. If you root, the possibilities are endless with different types of ROMs to flash, modifications to install with Magis Manager or Exposed Framework, 
tons of amazing themes to use with Substratum Theme Engine and so forth. You get the point, when it comes to customization, Android is king and I feel like Apple doesn't want to combat this because they want to keep their interface nice and simple. They don't want too many buttons or options for customization or anything that will give the average Joe a headache. So those are the five features that I found Android Pie does better than iOS 12. I know it's going to be a war zone down in the comments, so just keep it clean. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.